What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It is time for another episode of my Dear John Q&A series. It's where you leave a detailed question in the comments section down below. You thumb up some of the ones that you like from other people that you see, and then I take one of those and answer them in video format. I'm sorry that it's been a couple of months since I've did one of these. It's actually been pretty busy around the ARTV camp, which is really just me and my girlfriend Hannah, but still, it's been very busy. No more stalling, it's time for another one of your questions, and this is one that I saw a few months ago, screenshotted, and wanted to save an answer in a video just because, even though it might not be the most detailed answer ever that I give, I think it's an important one and one that I see a lot of people asking me about. So, thank you for the question to Alex who commented this. Let's go ahead and put it up on screen and see what they had to ask. Dear John, what are your thoughts on artist meet and greets? Do you feel like it is a waste of time for the artists and fans? Also, do some artists or bands take advantage of their fans with setting such a high price? Sincerely, Alex. Well, Alex, thank you so much for the question. I really do think that that's one that is important to talk about just because I do feel like it's ridiculous that some of these bands, especially smaller ones, will charge for their fans to meet them. I see some of these bands, I'm not gonna name names for the most part, but they set the price to like $80 to $120 to meet the band. And that just feels absurd to say hello to someone for three seconds, maybe get a signed lithograph or something like that, or maybe they'll take a picture with you, but for $120, think about how many people end up paying to do that. Think about how much money they are profiting, and especially some of these bigger acts. I get that you need security, you need somebody to help you feel safe and move you around and that sort of thing so you're not getting mobbed by fans, you need an event center to do the meet and greet, or maybe you need somebody to do it at the venue that you're at. I understand all of those things, but at the same time, could it really cost, if you have like 100 kids per show, say you do 35 shows on a tour, if it costs $100 each, that's $3,500 per date that you're getting just for meeting people for like 30 minutes. That seems a little bit ridiculous to me, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I can't always be the one to judge with that because I don't fully understand it. But I also really do respect bands who will come out after their shows. People like Hoodie Allen, The Main, The All-American Rejects, and Switchfoot. I've seen that all of these people are notorious for hanging around after their sets, meeting fans, and a lot of smaller bands that you'll see in like the Warped Tour circuit or even small, some of your smaller like indie electronic acts, they will hang around, especially like some of the DJ sets and that sort of thing. They're willing to meet the fans. And I always think that's a good attitude to have. Not just, oh, no photos unless you pay for the meet and greet. I do think it's a bit of a rip off. And I do hate also some of these VIP packages, especially the ones that don't even include a meet and greet with the band. For example, Green Day, I have to be critical of my favorite band here because I wanted to meet them even if I had to pay. I still think it would be a cool experience, but they haven't been offering meet and greet. Instead, they've been offering this ridiculous VIP package that gets you like access to the pit, obviously. You get a fucking Subway gift card for like a free Subway sandwich and like a few other things, like a little thing that hangs around your neck and that sort of thing. Who, who really cares enough to pay like $500 for that package. I got pit tickets and they were like 80 bucks a piece and I don't know if all those other things are worth like 400 or $500. Spoiler alert, they are not. I'm getting a little bit off track here, but my main point is that I feel like some of these fees that you have to pay to meet your favorite artist or your favorite band are absurd. They are rich with greed and greed and more money and it's not just the bands doing it, it's obviously their label, their management, all of that good stuff that we don't see that goes on behind the scenes. I realize that bands don't always have control, but at the same time, I don't necessarily get it. It's just, it, it irks me along with that. Also, the t-shirt and merchandise sales go up as they go bigger, like the prices increased. Why, when the 1975, back in 2014, 2013, whenever they were smaller, I went to go see them, why were their t-shirts then like $20 and now they're at least $40 minimum for a hat, a t-shirt, or anything. You think as you get bigger, you would be able to reduce the prices. It's like the Walmart effect. If you buy things in bulk, you save. And if you have a lot of fans buying, it seems like, wow, I'm making a lot more money. I can actually charge them less. But no, the fees go up because everybody else has their hand in the pot and everybody wants to make a cut. 
I think everybody is kind of greedy in this situation and the only people that really get hurt are the fans and I guess the fans' wallet or else their parents' wallets. But that's just my take on it. Much love and respect to the bands out there that will meet for free. I think that that's so awesome that so many bands will still do that and will just hang around and I also at the same time understand that not everybody can do that just because of the sheer volume of people that would turn out and freak the fuck out. These are just my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know what you think about meeting fans. Do you think it's justified? Do you think it's overrated? Do you think it's absurd? Sound off in the comments and leave a like on the video while you're here. And don't forget to comment your next question starting with Dear John in the comment section so I can find you, screenshot it, and who knows, maybe you'll be the star of the next episode. Thanks for watching another installment of Dear John. If you would like to see the full playlist, you can click right here or another recent review that I did on the channel, you can click right over here. All of my social media accounts are linked in the description down below if you're able to support on Patreon by clicking that annotation in the corner. Other than that, I'll see you very soon for more content right here on ARTV.